I'm here at the 2023 PGA Show in Orlando, Florida. It's the biggest golf show in the whole world. What we're going to do today is take a wander around inside, show you what's going on and talk about what's in store for golf in 2023. First up, let's talk majors and as always the first major of the year is the Masters in April 23. This is going to be a short conversation. Experiences King at Augusta, Rory McIlroy has it in spades. I see finally Rory winning a green jacket, maybe after a playoff with Justin Thomas. Next up is the PGA Championship May the 8th, Oak Hill, ball strikers course for me. It's got to suit a guy like Will Zalatoris. His stats on tour are incredible. Without winning a major, since 2020, his major record has been off the charts. So for the PGA Championship, drive it straight, hit on the greens, Will Zalatoris for me. US Open this year will be at LA Country Club. I can't wait to see how guys like Dustin Johnson and Brooks Kupka do this year. Will they be back? But for me, there's only one man, and that's Rambo to win the US Open. And finally, the last major of the year, the Open, Royal Liverpool, where ground ball is key. Now we know Tiger loves it, we know Rory McIlroy loves it. There's one man I feel is going to get back to the top this year, and that's Jordan Speed. So for me, it's a long time away, with Jordan Speed to win the Open at Royal Liverpool. Let's talk breakthrough players for 2023. Well, when I think of the US, you know, he's already broken through. But for me, Tom Kim is going to win big events, maybe even a major in 2023. I think he's number 12 at the moment in January, but I can see him getting right to the top this year. He's a fantastic player. In Europe, it's all about the high guards. Rasmus and Nikolai, Rasmus especially, he's had some great finishes. Still outside the world top 100, even though he's getting very well known. I think he's going to win in Europe this year. I think maybe even play an important part for Europe in the Ryder Cup, so watch out for him. In the ladies game, well, I told you this time last year, Leona Maguire would win an LPGA Tour event. This year, I'm telling you, she's going to win a major. Speaking of live. Where are we? What is the lie of the land? Well, we're into 2023. There's no concrete schedule yet. It all seems a bit up in the air still, and they're still working on the model. But the players who've moved to Live seem really, really happy. And they've done a deal with the Masters. Masters once Live players are all going to be there. In all the other majors, most of the top Live guys will play all the majors. You've got DJ, Cam Smith, Brooks Kupka, Phil Mickelson. And they even will play in all the majors by virtue of of, of winning majors in the past, so they'll all be there. But really, the key to success for the live guys will be coming to agree, uh, some agreement with the official World Golf Rankings people to get ranking points for their events. That's the key to all the players in live being happy, renewing these two-year contracts, you know, that they can get to majors, because golfers, at the end of the day, they want to play in the majors, and they, you know, they need that. So, from the team point of view, well, the four races cleaned up last year, but Pat Perez, everybody knows, he played terrible. He tagged along, but he made a ton of money. And I just wonder, is uh, stuff like that going to be ironed out? Taylor Gooch got absolutely shafted by the four races in favour of Peter Uline. So I'm just wondering, when these two-year contracts are up, will guys that are in live now, or will some of them go, ah, hang on, I might just go back to the PGA Tour. The PGA Tour... Uh, for their side, they've upped their game, upped their prize money, listening more to players, uh, trying to transform their product. So all I can say is, watch this space. Twenty twenty three is also Ryder Cup year, and it's going to be a big one. All the European old guard is gone, but it's an exciting European team. You've got Ram, Lowry, McIlroy, Fleetwood, Hatton, and the rest of the boys. Young and exciting. I think it's going to be much tighter than people think. And you know what? USA half a one on away soil since 1993. So the Ryder Cup in Rome, I think is going to be a European win. Remember too, the Salheim Cup's on the week before the Ryder Cup this year. So hopefully it'll be European on the double. Wow. 
what's that I see in the distance? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's the goat. It's Tiger Woods. And he's back for 2023. And I cannot wait to see him in action. So there you go, guys. Just a little walk around the 2023 PGA show and a chat about what's in store for the year. Hope you like it. Equipment-wise, we have a whole separate video done with Matt Adams of the Golf Channel on what's new for equipment in 2023. Uh, I hope you like that. Make sure to check that out on the Golf Fitter YouTube channel. Bang a like and subscribe and follow us on social media. But for me for now, from the PGA show, it's Donal out. One more thing, guys, and that's to tell you about the new Golf Bitter website. It is a game changer. I know how hard the guys have been working on it. You are now going to be able to get an instant quote for any golf club that you want to sell. There's also a new combined basket feature there that allows you to buy and sell golf clubs at exactly the same time. It is super easy to use, easier even than playing the game of golf. So make sure to check out the new Golf Fitter website. For me, for now, I'm gonna sneak out for a few holes before I head to the airport. It's Donald out.